Soka, Ivy Masters Learning Center, and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 6, Section 1, Number 27, which reads, What did Theus and Adler do as part of their study that most directly allowed Theus to reason? Bees were repelled not by the fragrance itself. So in other words, bees were repelled by something other than the strong fragrance of the flower. And what's a good way to approach this type of a question? Well, if you go to the line references, then you know you're not reading the whole thing over again. You always want to look at the next question. And while you're at it, you might as well eliminate anything that is not directly answering the question. So we go to answer choice A. Every half hour throughout the experiments, the team plucked off the beetles off of half of fragrance enhanced flowers and half of the control flowers, allowing bees to respond to the blossoms with and without interference by the beetles. It looks like that is definitely something that they did that would be able to that would help them determine whether the bees were repelled by the fragrance or by beetles. Let's so we're keeping our eye on answer choice A. Let's see if there's an answer choice for number 27 that matches A. Because it's gotta directly answer the question, it's also gonna match. Answer choice A, they observed the behavior of the bees and the beetles both before and after the flowers opened in the morning. Well, first off, we could eliminate that because it's whether they, the bees and the beetles were there be before and after the flowers open, that doesn't have to do with whether or not they're attracted to the fragrance or not. If the flowers are closed, then it's not going to be emitting so much fragrance. If they're open, then they're going to be open and emitting more fragrance. Anyway, so... And stress B, they increase the presence of 1,4-dimethoxybenzene only during the August flowering season. Well, what season it is, is not going to depend on whether or not the bees are attracted or are or, or repelled by either the fragrance or by something else. Um, well, it could be if, it's, if they're attracted to them one season and not another, but um, that doesn't have to do with the experiment. That doesn't have to do with this answer here. Answer choice C. They compared the gourds that developed from naturally pollinated flowers to the gourds that developed from hand pollinated flowers. Um, they did, but that has to do with how the flowers developed, not whether or not the bees were repelled or attracted by the flowers. Answer is D. They gave the bees a chance to choose between beetle free enhanced flowers and beetle free normal flowers. Now, if beetles were what the bees may have been repelled by, then that could be the correct answer. So answer choice A is what the team did. Now, let's just see. We're going to read the other answer choices because there might be one that says more directly um, the answer. There may not. Let's see. Answer choice B. Finally, they pollinated by hand half of the female flowers in each of the four combinations of fragrance and beetles. Okay, um, that's just their pollinating the flowers. Answer choice B is gone. Answer choice C. We would be out there four in the morning, three in the morning, and try to set up before these flowers open. It's not saying specifically anything about beetles. As it turns out, the bees are are repelled by the beetles and not by um, the, the uh, enhanced aroma. And course, 27 saying Theus thinks the bees were repelled not by the fragrance itself. Answer choice D, gourds that developed from those blossoms weighed 9% less and had on average 20 fewer seeds than those from normal flowers. So that's just talking about, and to get context and understand what the answer choice is saying a little bit better, you can read before and after. First sentence, that added up to less reproduction for the fragrance enhanced flowers. It's talking about reproduction, not whether or not they're not whether they're attracted or repelled. So the correct answer here is going to be D for number 27, along with A for number 28. They gave beetles a chance to choose between the beetle-free enhanced flowers and beetle-free normal flowers. 45 to 50. Every half hour throughout the experiment, the team plucked all the beetles off of half of the fragrance enhanced flowers and half of the control flowers, allowing the bees to respond to the blossoms with and without interference by the beetles. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble with these paired questions. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.